Okay, is everybody still here? Are we still... Everybody still alive? I don't know why this is the issue. Sometimes my internet connection, but just on my laptop, shits out. But seemingly only when I try to open Discord. Let's try it again. Let's see. Because Discord fucking hates my laptop, and I have no idea why. Trying to open Discord. Give me the Wi-Fi adapter in the laptop. Well, what would I do about that, though? I just updated Discord. Why would it need to update again? <sighs> ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da. Nothing. That's good. I love that. Love that for me. Well, at least while we're sitting here doing that a damn thing. Seeing if I could open Discord. Start the game. Is it ultra choppy for you guys? That's a good stream. Oh my god. Hello? You're very, very quiet. Okay, well, give me a second. Oh, that's better. I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, well, it was quiet, now it's not quiet. Well. <laughs> Twitch says I'm down to two viewers. Streamlabs still says I'm it's at okay. five. <laughs> They'll come back. We'll see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea went to go put her cats to bed. Oh, I guess it's nice for you guys to see the screen, huh? Nice and so what's... blindingly white. Huh? So you just wanted to play some Mario Kart? Or what? Yeah. Just got a hankering? Yeah. But... <laughs> Story of my life. You can try to join me. I'm getting my ass kicked, though. That's good. Or if you can't join, I guess I could join you. Join you? Asshole. I'll join you. <laughs> <laughs> I ate that nerd's rope, and I don't understand how oh, communication error has occurred. That's good. Oh, I see you, but not for long. <laughs> no, it said there was a communication error that occurred. <laughs> well, you're in here. The fuck I am. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Uh, yeah, I don't understand how people just, like, eat those things just regularly. What? What are you talking about? The nerd's rope that I had. <laughs> I stayed too, too sweet or what? I had one, and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> They also probably don't eat candy like that anymore. I used to eat candy a lot, and now I don't now know that I ever I ate candy like that. <laughs> I used to eat candy a lot, but now I can't. Well, I, I can, but I just I have to pay for it. It says that Bowser Jr. is in the match, but it says that I'm spectating. <laughs> I think it put you in the game, but you're now a computer. Oh. Oh. I don't know. 
Because you were in the game. It never even but let me in, in before it said that there was a communication error. So I bet that happens all the time then. That's my... probably why the queue takes so long. My thigh feels like it's being absolutely seared with like a hot iron. Um, but that's good. It's not hot at all to the touch. Because, like, it is the one that's closest to the heater, but it's not hot at all. Like, I'm touching it, and it's not oh, hot. That didn't work. So I might be dying, I don't know. Hard to say. You could switch your view to first person. Can I? Or third person, I mean. How'd I do that? I think it's Y. It's, well, X does it. Oh, it is X. Oh, you bitch. Mm. Oh, you bitch. Oh, Ye my. old bitch. <laughs> Streamlabs still Lines tells me harsh. I have five viewers, and Twitch still tells me I have two. <laughs> I I don't I don't know what numbers to trust because my uh, Twitch was telling me I had one viewer the entire time I streamed last, and there were times when I'm sure there was nobody there. <laughs> I bah, I don't know. <clears throat> Noise. Love that you just immediately start waving. Oh my god, it's Chelsea again. Chelsea. Did you guys see my new uh 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 uh, uh, uh um <laughs> but my my new uh Bar. Everybody <laughs> wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> My new bar. <laughs> what bar? My holiday sub goal bar, where it was the followers. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I did see that. <laughs> Chelsea, you can join the Discord if you'd like. You're just gonna be a no, little delayed. You can't. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> Everyone's Japanese. The person, there's a person in here whose name is Kaidi. Kaidi? Is that like an like ultra Ky country like, Katie? It's, it's Kaidi. Kyrie. Kyrie. Oh, got it. What is this music? I've never heard this. Wham! Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh god. Oh Jesus. God, oh Jesus. Oh God, oh Jesus. I will Wait, when I'm not God... chasing Lilo. <laughs> she doesn't want to go to bed. I don't blame her. Isn't Except God I... God and Jesus the same person? Uh, only depending on what you're talking about in certain contexts. <laughs> only depending on what you want to believe. Yeah. <laughs> Depends on who you're talking to. Ow. The real person to ask is uh, Jesus. The reformed, the reformed Orthodox Rabbi Bill Clinton. Blah 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 blah. No, not the car. No. I wonder if I refresh my chat, if that refreshes the viewers also, because I feel like it's stuck. I didn't know you were in first, you turd. I was. I just got overtaken by Waluigi, and then. You um, said no, you didn't. <laughs> well, so I got so I got overtaken because I got I hit a car on a bad drift. And I was like, wow, that was embarrassing. He just ah! passed me and was probably laughing. And then he hit a car twice, so mm. I got back in front of him. 
He just drove into my ass and hurt me. Ow! He just passed me again and then hit another car. <laughs> he doesn't know how to handle himself. He gets too excited when he passes me. <laughs> he stopped paying forgets, attention. Forgets to look. No, 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 I can't see. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, I almost just got my ass blasted by a, a skeletal Bowser. There goes, there goes my chances. Ah! What did I even hit? I ain't even hitting that in. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened to you. You got very refresh distant. my chat. Hold on. I refreshed my chat. I don't think that did anything to my viewers, though. Um, so I was going to come in fourth, but then... Uh, but then the blue shell came, and since Skeleton Bowser was in third in front of me, and the other two, you and Waluigi, had already crossed the finish line, it hit him right before the finish line, so then I got to come in third. I, d I saw that on the map. I didn't realize that that helped you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the guy that's light blue. I don't like his face. Light blue. You mean the gr the one that's gr oh. <laughs> no, the one that's light blue. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one I meant. That's. A I said it, and I meant me. <laughs> Bing bong. Bong bong. It's Ian from Mexico. <laughs> That's Flip not a up, trustworthy up, name. Flip. Ian from Mexico? Yeah. <laughs> Usually your name's not Ian if you're from Mexico. It could be. No, no. How stereotypical of you. What should his name be, oh. huh? Pedro? Huh? Ian is like a white name. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it. I don't care. <laughs> what should his there name be? There are names that fit. Uh, Jose? Races better than others. <laughs> Should you be Juan? Name me, you wouldn't name me Jamal, would you? Uh, it would be hilarious. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. <laughs> but then again, people are being named uh, serial numbers these days. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, but then I feel so bad for your that dad kid. also only... yeah, became a. Well, not became just finally showed the true colors of being a gigantic garbage person and also yeah. has multiple children with multiple previous employees yeah and just kind of had that uh swept under the rug huh well of course because did i send you that it? thing uh, they were talking so. about how He's got a bunch of children with a bunch of previous female employees, and then has nothing to do with any of those children, but uh, it brought up this whole thing amongst he and his uh, funky group of people, uh, where their whole like life goal now is to pump as many kids into the world as possible because they feel like the only way to prevent the earth from certain doom is to fill it with smart tech people like them. And the funny, the, well, the sad part about that is they're not even smart tech people. No, precisely the point. Like, Elon Musk has fake degrees that he probably paid for. Right. Um, his parents have always bailed him out of everything. Right. But these are the kids that we should just <laughs> fill the world with <laughs> through a bunch of uh, relationships that were already questionable because you were their boss and they were your subordinate. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But when you're rich, it doesn't matter. It truly does not matter. You could do whatever you want because you can buy your way out of anything. It truly does not matter. And then enough people in power have so much dirt on them that, uh, that you can blackmail them into doing literally any of your bidding. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's just a group. It's like a, a bunch of people just, 
uh, blackmailing each other and then blackmailing each other about the blackmailing <laughs> and then <laughs> I'm gonna blackmail you because of the thing you did when I was blackmailing you before. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot to pick a thing. I'm gonna do rando. Oh, the Charmander's here. What? Charmander's here. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't lying. Charmander's here. I may sound insane, but I swear. Did you, um, you might want to change the title of your stream. Oh, well, I don't know how long we're doing this, so fucking who cares, whatever. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> Charmander picked the cows. <laughs> Charmander likes cows. Charmander, are you trying to cook the cows? Charmander. <laughs> I don't trust you, Charmander. These toads seem awfully big. They are quite large. <laughs> They're gargantuan in comparison to Bowser and also you. Like, That's I'm already I'm tiny, so... Link is supposed to be like a... a, a real actual life person? sized <laughs> person versus Mario. And the toads are smaller than Mario mm -hmm. as it is. And Bowser is... Uh, it really depends on what game you're talking about, what size he is. <laughs> so what's the lore here? Why is there gigantic toads? Gigantitoads. Gigantoads. There's some, kind of, <laughs> some kind of government experiments going on here. Is this the Tuskegee experiments? <laughs> the Toadigi experiments? <laughs> Not the Toadigis. That cow was laying down! That was the cutest shit I've ever seen. Charmander's in first place. Charmander. Charmander's from Japan. Charmander's a bitch. <laughs> I don't know my kanji well enough where I would tell you what their name is. I can't believe you. What are you even taking Japanese for? Um, I'm not, but... What do you mean you're not? I'm not taking Japanese. <laughs> you're doing I'm those learning it. I'm learning it through my own means. I'm not, like, <laughs> I don't have any classes. What are you talking about? That's the fucking the thing. <laughs> You're not just, like, out the in the thing. world learning shit from your own brain hole. People are constructing things for you to learn. <laughs> That's a class. Are talking about Duolingo? Yes. <laughs> That's not that doesn't count. This is mini games. Flim, 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 flim. I mean, I have the book in front of me. I could just look it up. You could. And you won't. Dude. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> you won't. You scared. <laughs> um, I hope that... By refreshing my chat, I didn't fuck it up. And I'm just not seeing what anybody has said. <sighs> seeing anything either. Okay. It still says five viewers. <laughs> Let's see, what does their thing say? I see three. Oh man. Which figure it out later. started my stream over, which is a bummer. But I know I was gone for a hot minute. Fucking bullshit ass bullshit. Bullshit ass bullshit. That's what I said, I'll say it again too. Bullshit ass bullshit. Beep boop bop boop 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 beep. Oh shit. My <laughs> oh. 
I think it was at like oh. the beginning now of the. I'm in here. Oh my God! It's Chelsea. Oh. What? 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 <laughs> I'm turning down streaker <laughs> Twitch because that's gonna bother me. Go for it. Do it. Um, Wait, you don't like hearing yourself twice? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, 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 um, my sister was telling me earlier in the week, I think it was, that she, I think she said she was at Daiso, and, uh, that was Daiso? I don't know who is speaking and why you've become so very quiet. I said I don't know what that is. Oh. Um, Daiso is a, like a Japanese... Uh, I don't even know what the fuck I would call it. <laughs> it it's like a, a Japanese convenience store, kind of. Is it like Am Double I... Gems? <laughs> no. Absolutely not. <laughs> that wretched establishment. <laughs> I, am I missing something? You, you dropped that as though we should know what you were talking about. Well, I thought if anybody would know, it would be you, Mr. Japanese. I did not know Houston... Uh, it's or, not wait, Houston. Austin. It is everywhere. There's Daiso's here. Okay. There's Daiso's in Houston. There's Daiso's in DFW. They are everywhere. Well, I have never seen one or heard of one. Well, same. You would enjoy a dice. Well, actually, I don't know how much you would care, but um, wow, I came in last. Dang. Proud of you. Never in my life have I come in last. Today you have. I get ever, ever, evidently. Evidently. <laughs> so uh, my sister was a dice. So it's like a Japanese CVS. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, <laughs> uh, and because I was telling her that um, that they keep playing because there's like, you know, at least 20 to 25 different Christmas songs out there, right? But for yes. some reason at my store, they keep playing like the same four songs, just like 15 variations of those same four songs. And it's driving me absolutely fucking insane. Um, one of those songs is a song that I already hated, uh, This Christmas. Fucking hate that song. But they keep playing 75 variations of that song. And I was telling her this, and she had mentioned that, um, she was in Daiso, and heard a Maroon 5 version of John Lennon's Christmas song, Happy Christmas. And she said it was absolutely horrendous. And she needed me to listen to it as soon as possible. <laughs> and did you? I did finally today. and Because she had mentioned at one point, she's like, I already don't care about Maroon 5. And I don't care about John Lennon. And I really don't care about that Christmas song. So... Combine the three, and my expectations were incredibly low. But then the song somehow exceeded those expectations. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, she's like, I need you to listen to it as soon as possible. And she had mentioned that, uh, that Adam Levine's tune was just all over the place. And I was like, oh no, it's like the Lars Ulrich of Christmas songs. Hmm. And she chuckled. Um, but then I listened to it today, and it wasn't that his tune was all over the place, like, he couldn't hold a tune in the right way. It was that there was zero structure, like, in tune to the song. So, like, I don't care about the regular song either, but it is at least formulated properly to where, uh, as the listener, you know where the song is going, you know? Like, you know, you know what direction it's going, you know what's gonna happen next. Even if you don't know anything about music, you kind of just know 
what direction the song is going to go, at least, like, as far as the tune goes. Sure. Um, and Adam Levine decided, <laughs> in his version, that he was going to, like, take a bunch of artistic liberties, I guess, with the tune and keep, like, putting different octaves in different places where they don't go where they don't make sense to go and it just leaves you feeling incredibly unsettled the entire time you're listening to it because <laughs> you don't know what's gonna happen next <laughs> and that's not something you want particularly from a christmas song and yeah, it sounds awful it's like like it's not that the talent wasn't there it was just he decided to do things with the song that made no sense and like so part of the song part of the actual song like the john lennon version he kind of goes he keeps increasing in in pitch um and it makes sense for that to happen that way. And Adam Levine's version, instead of continuing to increase in pitch, he drops down like an octave and a half. Um, but then later in the song goes significantly higher than that upper pitch that he was avoiding for like a whole section of the song. So I'm like, so it's not like you were avoiding it because you can't hit those notes. You just made a choice. <laughs> you just made a choice that didn't make any sense and then decided to have a whole section be in an even higher octave where it made even less sense i'm gonna have to listen to this now because it sounds like a nightmare it you just like it's really not like i guess if you're not listening for it you won't really know you're just kind of like meh not great but you probably won't be able to like put your finger on it. But now that I've told you, the whole time yeah. you're listening, you're gonna be very just like uncomfortable because you can't ever settle into the song because he's changing shit constantly. <laughs> it's making it very like horror movie esque. Oh my gosh. It's very disconcerting, and I really wish he wouldn't. <laughs> it also made me realize that I really don't enjoy his voice. Yeah, I already don't like Maroon 5, so... Oh. I used to enjoy them, I guess, in their heyday in the early to mid-2000s when I feel like everybody liked at least one song, right? I like Maroon 5. Well, this song might change your mind. <sighs> it also just, because you're just unsettled the entire time and can't settle into the song, um, it seems like it goes on for way longer than it actually does. Hmm. Yeah, it's... I mean, I don't, like, listen to them religiously or anything, but I like Maroon 5. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> and my sister was just so excited that I finally listened to it and put into words everything that she hated about it. And I was like, yes, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I understand. I got you, girl. But, uh, yeah, if you wanted to listen to it, it's, uh, I think, three minutes and one second long. I don't which is a whole go. minute and a half longer than it should be, but feels at least three times that length. No. Um, but it's called Happy Christmas. But I think they called it Happy Xmas because, you know, they have to be cool. Yeah, it sounds like them. Yeah. Um, would recommend listening to the recorded version as opposed to the live version that's also there. You bitch ass fucking Donkey Kong. But, yeah, it's, um. It's not good. <laughs> It's not my favorite. It sounds like it. No. Simply not my favorite. <laughs> I mean, how many times can a band, or how, I guess I should say, how many times can a Christmas song be covered? 
because I feel like that's all anybody does. It's like, I guess they were trying to make it their own and then just didn't. No, they didn't. Because <laughs> I'm pretty like, sure he wrote that song. I'm pretty sure John Lennon wrote that song. That is his song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's his song. But um, I don't know that Maroon 5 was the one that should have covered it. <laughs> But, like, he even has the... He's got the vocal range. But then it made me realize that he's a little nasally and I don't like it. That's why I don't like him. Yeah. Um, he's nasally. It's just... It's less than stellar. Except now that you said Maroon 5, all I can hear is the, what is that song? Is it called, is it just called Misery? Because that was the one that was like a big I deal. I am in misery. Yeah, that one is now just blasting in my head since you said Maroon 5. I have this love stuck in my head now. <laughs> Which is shockingly very similar. This love has taken it oh, all God. on oh, me. Stop it. <laughs> I'm going to leave the Discord chat. <laughs> Watch you on mute. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize until I sang both of them how uh, similar they are. <laughs> that went the She Will Be Loved route. Also, a song that I enjoy. But now I see, I feel like I can only enjoy it every so often because now he's been ruined for me by this. Well, he was already ruined for me when he cheated on his wife in a very public manner. Um, as he was another. Is that when uh -huh. Those DMs came out? Yeah. This was recent, wasn't it? Yes. And again, he was another one that was all, I love my wife, and then suddenly, <laughs> oh, do you? Is that why you're Lies. in all these girls' DMs, huh? Interesting. Yeah. You also have Carol, Cal Carolina, California tattooed across your stomach like a moron. So that, I think, was really when it was like, <laughs> mm. so you're just dumb, <laughs> huh? And you thought that was going to be hot when you took that shirt off, didn't you? Ooh, and then everybody was like, oh, you're an idiot. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure enough people loved it that it didn't matter. I don't know. Well, I, I mean, not, he I'm... he decided to bust it out in a, in a kind of after-the-fact situation, so it didn't really matter if people loved it or not, huh? <laughs> Tattoo yeah, already happened. <laughs> Too late. Oh, too late to apologize for real, for real. I saw one Republic play that song live. <laughs> oh, yeah, at, at 10 in the morning? 10 in the morning at a <laughs> USAA <laughs> company party. What a time. And then they also play, I guess he's written music for like everyone and their mama. Yeah. And so. Like, most of the set was just him playing other people's music that he wrote. <laughs> that sounds about right. And, I mean, the dude is very talented. They're all very talented. It's just, like, it's just one Yet Republic, they so couldn't I didn't really care. <laughs> it was like, they're very talented, but they couldn't make their own songs that anybody cared about. <laughs> Are you only I mean, talented guess... in the sense of making other people's music? It's like their music is popular in that among that fan base. I mean, I don't... And that's a big fan base. I just... Is it? It's not me. <laughs> I yeah, thought they they had Too Late to Apologize and maybe one other song and then kind of fizzled out of the limelight. Yeah, I don't know uh, any more uh, than that. They got a bunch. Because they played... Because they were playing them when I was... When I saw them and I was like, oh, they have more songs than I remembered. Well, are they their songs, or are they the songs they wrote for other people and you just didn't know that they were other people's songs? No, no, no. They were their own songs. I mean, he made it clear which songs he was playing from other people. They mm. were popular songs that you would know, but uh, it's just their own songs. It was one of those things where it was like, oh, I know more of their songs than I thought I did. You just can't name any of them. <laughs> That's always good. 
It's good for continuity like, when no one can name your songs. <laughs> yeah, oh, I guess I have heard that, huh? <laughs> wow. It's almost like I, how I felt about when you were playing The Who in your car. I was like, oh, I know a lot more songs than I thought I did. <laughs> but The Who is legendary. One Republic, I can't yes, say, is absolutely. legendary. <laughs> I'm not yeah. trying to compare the two. I'm just saying, like, that scenario. <laughs> it was like, oh, there's a lot more songs that I knew. I feel like that's been the I case thought. with a lot of bands and musicians whenever you're around me. <laughs> like, uh, when well, Scott Weiland died and you were like, who the fuck is that? And I was like, oh my god, Stone Temple Pilots? And you were like, who the fuck is that? And I was like, ah! And then I played you Stone Temple Pilots song, and you are like, oh, that guy. Well, I mean, to be fair, I also... And Nirvana. Yeah. I'm also <laughs> terrible with just, like, knowing... Well, I, at least I used to be terrible with, like, knowing names what? of... Like, names of actors, names of band members, names of... <laughs> like, when I met you, you would you would talk about, like, band members, and I'd be like, uh, who's that? And you'd be like, uh, the guitarist for... Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> like, oh, okay, cool. Didn't know the name. Um, I feel like I also remember... I can't remember if this was accurate or not, but I feel like I remember you not knowing that Kurt Cobain was in Nirvana. No, oh, I no. have always known that. Don't okay. even... Don't even put that out there to make me seem like a the yeah, absolute <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Not trying to, I was just pretty sure that that was the case. What is happening? I mean, that's... I feel like everyone should know that. I mean, yeah. Simply because they overblow his... his Everything? Uh, yes. <laughs> his influence on society. I love that my controller just, like, somehow stopped functioning and then it made me turn it back on and then I did but then I couldn't drive cool. so then I fell off Sounds like and, a then, and then I was fine what? Joy -Cons are weird oh those Joy -Cons are being weird. extra funky my controller in general is being extra funky and the, oh man yeah and the Joy-Cons are if you're not like Clearly, in the sight of your switch, they they don't connect very well. I am incredibly in the sight of my switch. Well, I'm just saying in general because I've been playing before where my switch is like on the table or whatever, and I'm like uh, I have my hands down, so like my legs are blocking the the line of sight or something, or a table or something, and it stops reading my inputs. Yeah. I've had that, but this is very much in the line of sight directly, um, so I don't know what was just yeah. happening. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I do remember... Uh, we were laying next to each other in bed, having just woken up. And I was like, oh man, Scott Weiland died. And you were like, who? Because <laughs> my sister and my mom yeah. texted me in a group chat. And were like, oh no, Scott Weiland died. And then my sister being my sister was like, well, it was a matter of time. <laughs> yeah. I think that's your sister's reaction to any celebrity dying. Mm -hmm. All celebrities are just ticking time bombs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I mean... <laughs> In the instance of Scott Weiland, absolutely. Oh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are like that. Where you're just kind of waiting. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, Aaron Carter was one of them. Yeah. See, I didn't even know he had issues. Uh, me either, yeah. because I did not <laughs> care. <laughs> that was oh, yeah, how much right. off the radar from him I was. I just didn't know. And I was like, oh, well, yeah. I'm sad, I guess. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Well, but then, I didn't really care either, but uh, I know a lot of people were upset. Like, learning about all of the, like, mental issues and whatnot, and then everybody posting, like, oh my god, all of these interviews with Aaron Carter, everything is so sad. I'm like, hmm. But I don't know how much of that is accurate. I don't know how much of that we should be taking to heart, because he's manic. Yeah, so... I think he was... 
I, I think he was severely bipolar and nobody yeah. ever helped him like get control of that so he was just fucking crazy all the time yes and that that'll fuck you up and you'll be saying a bunch of ridiculous shit yeah so. and i think that i i think it's the sad thing is like people let him go around sort of just being like that and like yeah, that's he has a lot of well he has a lot of like embarrassing interviews and stuff yeah. because of it and it's just like the people around him are to blame in my opinion because For you sure. know what you're doing you know you're letting this happen yeah That's but it's also Kanye West oh gosh it's also kind point. of um like when you do cuz i mean from what i heard he had many times in his life where he was like properly medicated and was you know doing all right um so in those instances it is kind of on you to be like hey i know that this medication makes me feel better and you know oh yeah for sure <laughs> i mean i i can't blame the people around him 100 percent because you are a grown-ass adult and you know what works for you and what doesn't so right well i mean yeah, it's one of those things of the blame is you but yeah. it's one of those things too like especially with bipolar disorder um when you're when it's bipolar one mm, uh shit. so much of like especially in in that instance when you're in the limelight and you say all of these crazy ass things and do all these crazy ass things but you're in the limelight so it's getting tons of publicity and you've got millions of eyes on you all the time it kind of feeds the cycle and people give you kind of like attention whether it's good or bad and uh yeah, that kind that, of that just keeps it going yeah it kind of it gets the cycle going and and you're just kind of you're just the ball's rolling at this point um and it's very easy when you are manic for people to kind of just kind of feed you anything and you take it so if people want to see you spiraling they could very easily tell you your medication is bullshit this is who you are you don't want to stifle that blah 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 and then you're just kind of like yeah for sure <laughs> Look at all the publicity I've been getting since I've not been taking it, and blah, 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 blah. And then you stop right. taking it, and then you blow all your money, and you're doing a bunch of drugs, and then you kill yourself. I mean, it's it's a very, very slippery slope with uh, Bipolar 1. Yeah, so. we all saw Shameless. Just kidding. <laughs> Shame. I thought you said Seamus, which is a wrestler, and I was like, what about him? <laughs> <laughs> what about Seamus? I was just uh, looking at 2K22, uh, the WWE. Wrestling? <laughs> yeah, because I saw someone playing it on Facebook, because they still do that for some reason. Um, That's where Bob streams. And, uh, and it looked really good, and I was like, I thought this game looked like garbage. Um... So I went to look and see if it was like a new one or something. Uh, no, it's the same one. I guess it just looks good sometimes. <laughs> no, I think 2K20 was the one that was hot garbage that they pulled. Um, and then they came oh, out with that okay. Battlegrounds thing because they yeah. stopped putting out the 2K games. And then they were like, no, we're going to do 2K again. <laughs> and then came yeah, out with 22. Absolutely. And I, I, I guess it's decent enough. I mean, the graphics are amazing. Yeah. And that was, like, a big problem with their old ones. Yeah. It was but incredibly buggy. Looking through the trailers and all that, uh, Seamus was on one of them. I mm -hmm. mean, all of them are on the trailers, but mm -hmm. <laughs> it was kind of cool. I think those games are, are fun, uh, the ones that work anyway, because they... Yeah, they sort of bring the reality element to wrestling, the part that... that everyone knows is not there <laughs> or everyone should know is not there yeah like the the you know it's not scripted anymore you're actually wrestling mm -hmm. <laughs> the way that it looks <laughs> so it's pretty cool 
I had Raw vs. SmackDown 2006 on, what was it on, my PS2? My GameCube? What the fuck was that on? Something like that. Um, and I loved that game, because you can make your own character, so you know I'm there. Um, oh, wait. <laughs> can make your own character, and then you can, like, have your own intro, and you get to watch your character when they come announced, and the whatever entrance video they have playing, and the theme they have playing, and you can add whoever's pyro you want, and blah, 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 and it was like, yeah! Fucking wrestling! <laughs> <laughs> so that was exciting. Uh, oh, speaking of Derek, um, <laughs> at the very beginning yeah. of my stream, I was telling JP, because uh, I saw they posted I like it on the person in our group with the white hair and the red eyes. That's a cool looking me. What about the one in the red outfit with the eyes above the glasses? And, <laughs> <laughs> and I well, don't I'm know not sure. I, I think that middle part is a mouth because just a minute ago it got really big. Well, I'm thinking they probably had to use the mouth to do that, but I think what they want to be the mouth is what's underneath it. I think so too. But it looks weird because that thing gets bigger when they smile. Mm -hmm. Um yes, they had posted uh WWE had posted cuz I guess they're trying to uh dethrone Roman. Oh yeah, Logan was supposed to do that and he didn't. He sure didn't. Um but he, he could have. I, it was obvious that they wanted Roman to stay on top because he mean. was doing just fine. Um, so, Kevin Owens has just recently come back. Um, and now he's trying to be the one to dethrone him. But there was something about he needed to, like, find a tag partner or something. I haven't been keeping up. Um, but, uh... Big fan. They, <laughs> I don't have cable, okay? <laughs> um, peacock. Yeah, that's not cable. That's all the wrestling, though. When it's done. They don't do live unless it's a pay-per-view. Um... Those are the ones that matter. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's what they're building up to, is the next pay-per-view. Which I think is Survivor Series? Um, no, no, that, that's a different show where they put people on an island. No, that's just Survivor. Close though. <laughs> um, I think January is a Survivor Series. Um, and so they just, everybody was like, oh, you gotta you better watch uh, Smackdown today, there's gonna be a big reveal and blah 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 blah. And everybody was all ah! so they had just announced Kevin Owens uh, announced his his partner to go against Roman. And who is that is partner? It Paul? No, thank God. <laughs> but but who is it? <laughs> I, why would I? Know? Who is it? You know who it is. Everybody knows who it is. I know. I Everybody know knows who, who it is. is. I don't even know who Kevin Owens is. You don't need to, but you know who it is. Why would I know anything? Chelsea, who is it? I have no idea. I don't know shit about wrestling. But you That's know this I'm one. Saying. Do I? Here. John Cena. Yep. <laughs> bip, 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 bip. Okay. <laughs> I had a 50-50 shot between The Rock and John Cena. <laughs> well, you picked correctly. They are trying to bring The Rock back, though. So. I'm not surprised. He, he has a TV show now about him as a kid. Yeah. He sure does. And it looks really corny. Yeah. He sure does. <laughs> Just like all those fucking NBC shows they have. Yep. Well, because like, for some it? reason they've decided to start making young versions of everyone they've already made a show about <laughs> instead of just making new shows. Mm -hmm. That's that's the the syndrome. It's like when people make a hundred of the same series rather than moving on. Uh, yeah. Like The Walking Dead. 
Yeah. Oh, you are an entire tit. And I need you to yes, know that. Yes, I am. Um, yeah, so... John There's someone Cena. in here named PPP. PPP? Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> yeah, so... He posted that, uh... Well, I guess John Cena had recorded a thing to be shown to Roman while Roman was in the ring, being like, yeah, Holmes, I'm gonna fight you or whatever at Survivor Series, blah, 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 blah. And everybody was like, oh my god! Because it's of John Cena. <laughs> I mean, hasn't, hasn't he been fighting? What's the big deal? No. He hasn't been no, in the WWE hasn't. for several years. Yeah, Not, I don't even watch wrestling. I thought he was like just... That. I thought he was just in like a couple years ago. We just saw something with him. They were selling merch and stuff when we went. They always sell John Cena merch. I thought he's their I biggest mean, whatever. merch you would pusher. Know more than I would, but <laughs> I thought that he was. I thought he was relevant. I've been seeing stuff with him. He's always relevant. Derek. I was gonna say he's still relevant. He's just not wrestling. Yeah, he's just not um, active roster, as they say. He's been making all those comedy movies. Yeah, he's peacemaker. Yeah. I never watched that. I also didn't, but I saw a clip of him walking around in tidy whities, um, and he looks. <laughs> you want to talk about somebody who looks like a thumb thumb? <laughs> oh no, thumb he also thumb. he also looks like a thumb thumb. Well, John he, Cena and Channing Tatum both. He especially <laughs> looks like a thumb thumb if you put him in some Hey, hey, why are we hating on Channing? I just <laughs> don't like him. I'm sure he's great and is a that's, good person, but I just don't. I can't. That's my boy. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Why is that your like, boy? I don't. Because <laughs> he's uh, hilarious and... No, he's not. <laughs> Hard well, pass. Well, I enjoyed fine. him in 21 Jump Street. 21 Jump Street. Uh, he played in This is the End. Mm. I just a, I couldn't like that movie. So. As a uh, sex slave to Danny McBride. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I do remember that. Uh, the Magic Mike movies are good. Um, for more than just the looks, obviously. I did see one of them. Uh, it was me. It was me, my mom, my sister, Jordan's mom, and Jordan's sister. We all went to go see Magic Mike. I watched it. I watched it with my brother and my mom because it was on TV. That's interesting. <laughs> and my mom had already seen it. Ooh. I'm feels uncomfortable. She saw it with a... Well, have you seen it? No. No! It's not even, like, half about stripping. I don't care. It's in there. It's in there. Put a put a pacey British man in it, though, and Chelsea will be there. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't know if I'd be there then. I'm just like... Mm. <laughs> this is uncomfy, too. Just Honestly... For Magic Mike 3. <laughs> Honestly, if. <laughs> no. If they didn't get, like, jacked at all, and it was just, like, regular ass them, but put them in a Magic <laughs> Mike movie, <laughs> I would be there. For I sure. Don't... No, because then I just feel sad. <laughs> who's, who's them? Like, Jamie and Joe. Uh, fuck it, throw David Harbour in there, I don't care. Put, uh... You don't, you David Harbour's want... not British. And he's not, but I'm thinking of the, the Stranger Things guys. Put all of them in there, but don't get them don't, jacked at all. Don't tan don't them. Carry. Yeah, don't do not do anything to them to make them fit at all. But put them in there. <laughs> you, you gotta do Jamie with his Vecna outfit. <laughs> No, because that hides all the fun of it. The fun is that they're just pasty and not... Jennifer, the fun right. of it is nope. the Vecnissi, first right. of all. I, I, I knew that was coming. I just knew it. 
just waiting for it. So, <laughs> Derek's favorite of all, part of anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hi. Can I, see? I just love when people make words into pussy. Like, someone had a video of a grocery store item. It was a bag of prunes. Oh, yeah, I saw couldn't find... that. Couldn't find the barcode. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't find the barcode, but it was one of those bags that, like, it was the hiding in the plumacy. <laughs> There's a pr prunacy. Oh, a prunacy. I thought it was a plum. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but it was in the little bottom part where it can fold over. <laughs> the the prunacy. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure you. What did you say when we were doing that vault in Sea of Thieves yesterday? Because I'm pretty sure you said something along those lines uh, too. I, I did, was but it I not can't a vault, remember. Is he? Maybe. I don't, I don't think it was so. some. No, it wasn't that. But he said it. I was like, okay. Why are we doing this <laughs> one again? Awesome. <laughs> I I don't remember. That reminds me, actually, Derek. I didn't tell you. Um, uh oh. So we all know. Well. We probably don't all know, but James McAvoy could get it. Oh, yeah? Um, no. I'm just, I'm stuck on the Chronicles <laughs> of Narnia, and I can't get past it. <laughs> James McAvoy could get it for real, for real. Um, nice. And it was a video of Another him. Another pasty British man. <laughs> <laughs> Put him in Magic Mike. I don't care. <laughs> Put him in British Sweet. Magic Mike. Um, magic, magic Michael. <laughs> this is magnificent, Michael. Yeah. Uh, that's the Lost Boys spinoff. No, magic fuck that Michael. movie. God. Anyway, the video was of him reading thirst tweets, uh, and I also I thought that that was like a Jimmy Kimmel thing. I didn't realize that Buzzfeed like took that over or something no jimmy kimmel does like mean tweets not thirst tweets oh i thought yeah. he did thirst tweets too okay mm -hmm. oh, God. buzzfeed does thirst tweets okay well uh it was him reading thirst tweets and he just like doesn't care about anything um and Me i love that about him <laughs> uh and <laughs> somebody <laughs> said, James McAvoy, please rearrange my insides. And his response, and I don't even know that he meant it to be suggestive, but it 100% was suggestive. Oh, it was 100% suggestive. <laughs> um, he said that he was an excellent interior decorator. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Jimothy? <laughs> oh, my word. But then... Chelsea, in telling her that, she had mentioned that she couldn't get past him as Mr. Tumnus. I can't. And I said, I funny you should say that. that. He was Mr. Tumnus. Yeah, see, I can't get past the, the goat legs. That's funny hilarious. you should say that, because one of the people... No, don't say it. I'm gonna. One of the people... Oh, fuck. I went the wrong way. One of the people who wrote in a thirst tweet said that uh, they wanted to... <laughs> They wanted to suck on Mr. Tumnus's hooves. And he yeah. was just like, ew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, why? I'm so, I'm so sad. I leave for 20 minutes and come back to Jenna talking about vaginas again. <laughs> Hell yeah, Manny. Hell I was yeah. talking about hooves, okay? <clears throat> there was no vaginas. Oh, I guess I did say somebody wanted to rearrange insides. Okay, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> but it was see? thirst tweets. Yeah. With Mr. Tumnus. <laughs> James McAvoy can get it, though. Prunacy. Oh, the prunacy. <laughs> that was good stuff. Derek mm. brought that up. I would just like to Yeah, that was that all up. Derek. Hell yeah. Throw him under the bus for that one. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, sure. Huh. Uh, uh, somebody else had written in, like, anybody who loves James McAvoy... He's on Great British Bake Off saying things like, it's a bit wet. <laughs> he was just kept iterating on that. He was like, it was a bit wet. <laughs> it's like, stop it, Jim Word. I hate, I hate the internet. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> he did it. 
He kept saying it. And he kept saying it right into the camera. And he said he was going to keep saying it until somebody told him what he was supposed to be doing. <laughs> I know. He knew what he was doing. He did. It's Mr. a bit Thomas. wet. Don't. <laughs> I, just, I just always think of him as Patricia. <laughs> Listen, he was really good in those, right? But, it's like, so I still... Absolutely. It's just Mr. Tumnus. <laughs> He's good in basically everything he's done. Yeah, he's I know, he's good. great. But he can't get it. And because I was he's saying he man. can get it. <laughs> no, he's a goat man. See, I, I never, uh, I never he's experienced goat Professor man. Professor X, okay? He's um, Professor Charles Xavier. He's actually, uh, I don't even remember his name. But he was a, a private in World War II and then got shot in the head. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He was in it for like an episode. Yeah. He got chewed out by, uh, what the fuck was his name? Old bitch ass McGee. Before sure. Bull Randleman was like, uh, you weren't there for that either. And then he was like, shut up. <laughs> I said, what do you know? Oh, so good. I need to rewatch that sometime soon. The only time you'll ever hear her say that. <laughs> when it's Band of Brothers. <laughs> I need to rewatch that. I've that, seen it a lot. That may be the only that may be the only time you'll hear her even say, I need to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got her to watch Under the Banner of Heaven. Yeah, somehow. And then I got her in trouble at work because yeah, she, she binged well, it all night. She, well, she, I wouldn't say <laughs> You got her in trouble, but that's, I mean, I didn't fine. like try to stop her from watching it all night. She wouldn't have listened to you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Oh, though, hey, right? hey, Jennifer. Hey. <laughs> uh, it, it was incredible, it which was why I was like, <laughs> listen, I know I need to go to bed, but I also know how my brain works. And if I try to go to bed right now in the middle of this, um, I'm just going to end up laying there the entire time wishing that I was still watching it and then not sleeping anyway. Yeah, no, I get it. So I was pretty Made much fucked either Mormon, direction. What? Made you want to be Mormon, didn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 100%. I've always wanted to sign into sexism uh, and racism. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not fun. Been there, lived it. Not great. <laughs> Yeah, especially uh, almost 30. It's definitely something that I want for myself. Like, you know what my life is missing right now? Mormonism. Mormonism. <laughs> I think I of, down upon just, you of my like... entire life, I think there's been maybe 3% of it that has ever been religiously affiliated in any regard, but I think starting at almost 30 is where, where that'll change. Ground I just upon. feel like with all religion, it's like, I I have a hard enough time with just life. I don't need more like restrictions. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need I don't need more reasons to not do things because I already don't get to do much. <laughs> well, they would tell you that it's because of the restrictions that you would feel enlightened. Right. <laughs> that things yeah. would become easier because you don't have to worry about all of these other things anymore. Exactly. Instead. Then you can go to super heaven. Yeah. You can just worry about whether or not you're good enough to get to heaven. You know, you go to yeah. celestial heaven. That's right. There's a difference. There's heaven and there's celestial heaven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's hell and celestial hell. <laughs> exactly. I Which, prefer... like, celestial hell sounds bomb as fuck. <laughs> It sounds like a party. It sounds awesome. I'm gonna go there right now. It's like it's like the VIP lounge in hell. Yeah, that sounds incredible. <laughs> Depending on who else is there. What is this even from? This is Mormonism. Mormonism. <laughs> Got it. What what game is this from? <laughs> <laughs> the game, game that is religion. What show is this from? <laughs> also, there's Not someone really that we're playing that with is... right now. His name is Brad, but he looks like Sean Evans from Hot Ones. Did you see uh, 
Super Mega put out a video that looks exactly yeah. like. I had to go look video. and see if they were actually on Hot Ones because I was like, don't nobody care about them. Why the fuck would they be on Hot Ones? Well, I'm wondering they how they got away with that. Yeah, I also don't know. Because they had they they like had a guy with like a really terrible bald cap on, pretending to be Sean Evans. Oh. No, I mean, none that of that weird. matters, because that's all just parody. Well, I was no, more confused as to how they used the logo. Well, the logo, but also just, like, the entire format is exactly the same, and they don't say anything in there, like, that this is a joke. It's also, they use Sean's real name. I don't think that that matters. I don't feel like you can do that. <laughs> I don't think you can just start making a show that's exactly like someone else's show. I'm sure you can if your whole channel is parody, which theirs is. I don't get them at all. I don't either. They're so, like, I, I feel like they've gone so far into the, like, meme of it all that they're just not even real people anymore. Yeah, I don't <laughs> understand. I, I, I never know, because, did you see that, and I'm glad Dan talked about it on Game Grumps because... I would have been confused had I seen it otherwise, but uh, they did like an interview where uh, I never remember which is which, uh, the, the skinnier dude. <laughs> um, what the fuck are their names? Uh, Matt and Ryan. Uh, Matt. Yeah, he said something about Dan, like, uh, they, he was trying to say that Dan ah! is like secretly in some like ah! super right right-wing cult thing <laughs> and like he was super serious about it like he delivered it in such a serious way and never like went back on it and I happened across a Game Grumps ep episode where Dan like addressed that and he was like I wish that they wouldn't like mess with me so much because some people believe the things that they say and <laughs> recently they said this about me on an interview and it's just the farthest from the truth but it sounded so genuine when he said it <laughs> that yeah. people probably thought it was real <laughs> and I was like yeah <laughs> nobody can understand these guys it's it's one of those things where there's kind of like there's how you can address your friends, and then there's how you can address the general public. And they try to blend that a lot, but um, that doesn't always work. Uh, it's like it's like they've it's like they've taken on a personality and just made that who they are. Mm -hmm. And it's like not who they really are, but it's becoming who they really are. <laughs> Yeah. And so they're just those people, and it's, like, really hard to know. Do you know. see Sean Evans? What? Do you see him? The guy in the black? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's bald and has a shadow beard. A shadow beard. So I guess. <laughs> like a five o'clock shadow. We also have someone in here with no eyes. Mm-hmm. But they have eyebrows. <laughs> Almost like one big eyebrow. Yeah. But it's more than a unibrow. It's like an upside down smile on their head. They always make Donkey Kong have such a donk in these games. <laughs> a Donkey Kong? A Donkey Kong, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why his name is Donkey Kong. That's probably why. Yeah. I'm sure that's what they were thinking in like 1984. Yeah, in Japan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Donkaru. Donkey yeah, Kong. I'm sure, they, I'm sure they call it Donk in Japanese. Mm, yeah, in like 1984. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wee! Um, it's a good console. The donk? The Wii. Oh. What was it? I think so. What you got against the Wii? Um, I think it was... 
put out before it was fully ready. I disagree. The games that were on it were pretty damn good. It was just the first of its kind, so the motion controls weren't perfect, but it was the first console to ever use them. And then everyone else did. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. And then the PlayStation Move came out, but the I problem that. with that was <laughs> they didn't really put a whole lot out for it. They sure didn't. And all the games were very gimmicky, almost like VR games. Yeah. And so it was, like, not worth the money. No, Whereas with it. the Wii, that was your only controller, so every game had to have some sort of motion control aspect. And that wasn't always a good thing, but <laughs> <laughs> there were some games that were pretty good. Like like Twilight Princess was really good. Uh, what about your favorite game of all time? What's that? <clears throat> uh, Skyward Sword. Why do you laugh when you say that? Because I think of how much uh, Aaron hates that game. And it makes me giggle that you love well, it so much. A lot of people hate that game, and I don't really get it. That's my giggling. It's a fun game. Vagina? What? <laughs> What's happening I in my say chat? It's my favorite or anything, but that's a good game. It's got a lot to it. The story's really cool. People are just hating. I love watching. Uh, Game Grumps play the remastered version and listening to Dan also become frustrated with it <laughs> and he's not even the one playing it. You know, I feel like Aaron manipulates Dan into feeling emotions sometimes. <laughs> Maybe not intentionally, but it happens. I think it's another one of those things where somebody points out uh, a problem and then now you notice the problem where you may not have noticed it otherwise? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. That's fair. It oh. does have a lot of problems. I mean, I, I don't know about so much the remaster, but the motion controls were pretty terrible uh, on the original. I even had issues with that playing it when I played it on the Wii. Well, I know at one point, um, they they just hate Fee throughout the entire game, which I understand. Well, I'll, I'll just say for all the 3D Zeldas in general, um, back before Breath of the Wild, all the like helper characters were just way too annoying. They put too many like alerts in the games, all of them, even Twilight Princess. Yeah. Uh, and it's just annoying. And some of them aren't as bad as others. I would say Fee is pretty bad. Yeah. And I just, <laughs> I hear in my head, because I've seen so many of these compilations, where she pops up and <laughs> Dan is like, I'm here to stop your progress. <laughs> 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 and Aaron starts cracking up. He's like, Dan, I like you. <laughs> well, I'll just say I hate games that do that in general. Like... I think that's a big reason why I'm not a fan of, like, those Square Enix RPGs. Um, like, the 3D action RPGs, like their Final Fantasy remake and all mm -hmm. that. It's just because it's like, not only are you getting interrupted by a tutorial every time you do anything, but you're also getting interrupted by cutscenes. So you're, like, grinding cutscenes mm -hmm. to play the game. Yep. <laughs> Whereas... In the older games, it was like you're grinding the game to get the story. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's just annoying, and I hate that stuff. Like, like when I was playing Yakuza the other day, yeah, it was like that was like exactly what that game was. Just yep, I was just thinking that same thing. Dialogue and and that's hard to do if you're trying to also talk to people. Yep. That's so, what I had said. Yeah, so... I hate those kind of games. Well, and like like I was saying too, that kind of game would probably work for me just because of how reactive I am to fucking everything. Um, yeah, I just... I lose the plot when I do that because <laughs> I'm, I'm talking and then I miss things. 
I just like that losing the plot is also how British people say that you're crazy. Is it? Yeah. I don't, I don't like that you know that. I mean, that's just like a, a thing that a lot of people say. Like, have you lost the plot? I never heard that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you saying that you lose the plot in moments like that made me giggle. <laughs> And British sayings are the best. <laughs> they just say the craziest shit, and it's so funny. Take that, man. Like, it's, it's just like everything's like an analogy or a metaphor, and it's like, <laughs> it's so funny. <sighs> what is happening? Oh, God. It's like my my favorite scene uh, in the third Austin Powers is when him and his dad no okay there we go. when him and his dad are talking about whatever but they're speaking like old yeah. British <laughs> and they're just saying like nonsense and it's subtitled yeah. <laughs> yes I love that me and my friend used to quote that movie all the time I'm pretty sure it was, so it was specifically the tea cat. Was it tea kettle? She tea shat kettle. On, she shat on a shat. Shat. So it specifically that line. Because we're insane, but you know, whatever. I'm leaving. I the just room. love that. That's cocaine. You're leaving. Yeah, because I want to be a pirate. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to be a pirate? I want to be a pirate, but I also can't get Sea of Thieves to launch, so I may have to restart my computer. That's good. Derek, do you want to be a pirate? Let me do that. Um. I'll be gone for just a second. No. <laughs> no. It's already late. One thing in that game will take us at least an hour. When has that ever stopped you before? I mean, it's not, not that I'm being stopped by it. I just don't want to. I don't want to lock in, you know? <laughs> Put me up here. There's that. Hmm? I was moving my things around on my screen. Um... But did you... I mean, aren't you going to be up anyway? <laughs> yeah, but maybe I don't want to play pirate games. Maybe I, I want to just chill. Do you not enjoy playing games with us? I just played games with you. <laughs> <laughs> I also do enjoy playing games with you guys. I just I'm don't back. want to Hi. right now. <laughs> Steam had to update, that's why. It didn't mm. update when I launched my computer the first time, apparently. Mm. Oh, Derek. <laughs> what would I do? You don't want to be a pirate. I watched the whole thing on Derek. my phone. <laughs> well... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I just really enjoy that. Oh, Derek. You don't want to be a pirate. <laughs> so you don't want to be a pirate, eh? <laughs> That's pretty much exactly <laughs> how that just happened. <laughs> mm, so you don't want to be a pirate. Everyone's like still awake? Always. Plot. I don't ever sleep, first of all. Hell Let's yeah. put that out there. I don't actually know who all is here. I also have to work in the morning, but I'm just like, fuck it. I'll just drink a lot of caffeine tomorrow. Good idea. Uh, that's always good. I took a nap, and that was my downfall. I shouldn't have taken a nap today. Story of my life. The older you get, the more dangerous naps become. <laughs> yeah, then you're up forever. <laughs> <laughs> I have insomnia. Same. I was actually supposed to have um, a sleep medicine doctor's appointment today, and then I slept through she's it. Had some July and she slept through it. I slept through it. If that doesn't tell you everything about my problems, it tells me everything. <sighs> I 
did that with another appointment maybe a week or two ago. I'm gonna you do good that time. with most of your appointments. You know, it's awesome. I love Be it. real. I love it for myself. Let's update some things. Oh, did Ooh, we Pokemon play Pirates? Violet is mm -hmm. number one on the Nintendo store. That doesn't surprise me. What about That's Pirates? Fair. The Trioku just asked, so did you all play Pirates? We're about to. As soon as it... There we go. Mm -hmm. Oops. Pirate. I am Pirate. I used to pronounce it like that whenever you watch a movie and it would always say piracy is a crime. <laughs> I would always read it as uh, like piracy or piracy. I was like, how do you say that? I don't understand. Piracy. <laughs> I, I like forgot. Piracy. I always forget what your character is wearing, but I'm watching your Twitch stream. <laughs> <laughs> You're just standing there with a barrel. I'm a ho. Looking like a sloot. I'm you a goddamn ho. sloot. <laughs> it's my favorite. You're so proud of yourself. I am. Aesthetically, I'm the more pirate aesthetically, and then you're just like. I'm the most whatever me. that is. <laughs> that is for you. Well, technically it means me, but I'm pretty sure my character model is Asian, which okay, that's cool with me. Bitrioku, was it you that I was talking to about Killer Instinct? I'm trying to think. Also, my stream is now up here. Above where my computer is, so that's why I'm looking up here now to address the masses. No? Fuck, who the fuck was I talking to? Is that Mark? Could have been Mark. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> Alright, Derek, last chance. Do you want to pirate with us? He's gonna say no. Which is fine. No, I think I'm okay. It's just not in his blood. <laughs> is it in mine? Sorry, I, I love playing pirates, but not as much as you guys. <laughs> Fair. I understand. I don't. <laughs> Jennifer never understands. <laughs> I always get so much crap for turning down an offer to play games. <laughs> I have to have a good reason, and I have to type it up, and Times New Roman, uh, MLA style. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be in triple kit on my desk. I need to email it to her, fax it to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so then she can review it. And it better be on that, that good resume paper, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she needs to review it and let me know that uh, I'm not, it's not a good excuse and that I'm an idiot. <laughs> so aggressive. <laughs> you have a request. <laughs> oh, but like, are you saying like you, you want me to play? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> or you just want me to say that because I can just say that you might have to play bummer well, for you I definitely, I definitely can't ride off into the sunset on a ship I wouldn't be able to do that we can't use our ship if he plays though so I know yeah you guys get a better ship without me anyway so just go have fun okay <laughs> <laughs> go without me like, I'm sad turning you down. <laughs> no, you're not. I can tell. It's fine. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Actually, I would rather you guys not invite me anymore. I didn't say all that. I like to be invited. It lets me feel included. Just give him a canoe. That's... There are robots. Three different kinds. Now I want to watch Pirates of the Caribbean. That's where I've been ever since I started watching or started playing this. I'm like, I need. I literally texted my friend who also has a Pirates of the Caribbean tattoo because we got matching tattoos because we're dorks. <laughs> I was like, we need to watch Pirates of the Caribbean like right now. And I haven't seen her in like a month just because we're adults and busy and it sucks. Have you seen mm -hmm. the new ones? Because I like, haven't. Like the one that came out like four years ago? Uh, I thought it had just come out. No, there's but not a new I don't one that's come out. I don't, uh, three or four years ago? It wasn't great. The one that's like, um, with, uh, with 
Isn't it a prequel, sort of? No, there's no prequels. It's all linear. Well, they were going to come out with one has... that didn't have Johnny Depp in it, and then they finally scrapped it because nobody was going to see that shit. No. I may have. I like pirates enough. I can't but... remember what it was called, but it was... It was the one with, uh, I thought it was... Pierre Bardem? Yeah. Yeah, that one came out in, like, 2017. Was it any good? It was okay. It wasn't, like, the... I liked the first one. What is one, happening? The third one. Why is there Christmas music playing? There's Christmas music? I just pulled a knife oh. out of a table... There's Christmas decorations in this tavern. Why is there a reaper thing on the table? Loyal reapers watch for my birds. Those who know how and where to view the orb may sail to their resting places and claim an orb of their own. Expardon me? Derek, you missed out. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what's happening. I mean, I'm watching you do it. This is very cute, though. Where did you guys get Christmas decorations? What do you know about Christmas? Pirates the don't Christmas. It's the 1720s. Christmas was in full swing in seventeen in the 1720s. Was it? Was there a, a period of full swing versus not full swing? Yeah, there was like a pirate renaissance in the se early 1700s. Right, but was Christmas ever not in full swing? I don't... Uh, Ancient Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Greeks. Got it. Probably didn't do Christmas for quite a long time. You just said Pompeii. that Christmas was in full swing. I'm like, for what? <laughs> <clears throat> it is People Chelsea. Are celebrating. What? Bitch, it is me. <laughs> is that yes. Chelsea? Sure is. What? Bitch. I saw, I saw a meme that was like, uh... Thank you! I can't read that. There's nothing on it. It's just a skeleton. What? Yeah. I wish I could see... Shoot her! It doesn't work. What? There's no friendly fire. <laughs> oh. Is mine... What does mine look like? Yours just has a skull on it. Yeah, see? That's all I've seen, too. On yours. First of all, a skull is not a skeleton, okay? Okay? I have one. Huh? Okay, whatever. It's part of one. But isn't one. But isn't one. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this Christmas version of this music. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I love it. I got a quest. It was in a barrel. Oh. This uh, skull with a candle burning on it has a die in its eye. That's very Dungeons and Dragons. I'm here for it. <clears throat> Don't want any crunchy bananas. Are you sure? Yes. Hey, fire bombs. Why are you lurking in the shadows? Me? No, that was one of the things I could tell this guy. Where's the reaper tent? Because I want to see if there's any reapers. I, think we're done here. <laughs> the I backed out of the conversation with you. What do you mean I think we're done here? Throwing me off. I am incredibly warm. <sighs> nice and moist. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. And what and why? Let's Isn't this the same um, port they've like made a start on the past like four times we've played or like, like restarted? That. Something like that. Oh. City bells. My leg hurts a lot. Quit it. I would love to. I'm also very nauseous, but I'm pretty sure it's the amount of sugar I just put in my body. Ooh, there are reapers out. Cool beans. Mm, I don't want any. Oops, I just broke my ankles. <laughs> That's good. 
<laughs> what are we uh, doing? I don't know. What do you want to do? Um, what do you want to do? <laughs> I don't treasure, know. What do you want to <laughs> do? Treasure hunting, skull people, fortressing. Oh, yeah, fortress. One of those. Uh, one of those clouds that's not a ship because I don't think we can do those because we suck at fighting on ships. Uh, maybe skull clouds, but I don't see any skull clouds. First, I want to peep where the reapers are. The peepers. What I love are? these fall guys ripoffs. This one's called Clumsy Rush Ultimate Guys Premium Edition. Clumsy Rush Ultimate Guys. Premium edition. I found one reaper. He's all the way on the leftmost side of the map. He's a pretty he's sure one. there's only one reaper out. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I thought you said there's two. Mm -mm. Oh, well, he's all the way on the left hand side of the map. At the Imperial Crown Fortress. Oh well. Oh, you can zoom more than you used to be able to. Really? Yeah. I'm like all up on this fortress. you feeling like you want to go fight Inigo Montoya? We could. <laughs> and all his friends? You gotta his kill friend. his dad first. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that movie today. Well, I didn't watch it because I <laughs> took a nap. But it was I watched that movie snapping. today. No, I didn't. <laughs> I enjoyed I that movie. I watched part of it. I watched what was happening. I think I watched up until the Battle of Wits with the Iocane Powder, and then I was asleep. <laughs> Did you get a chest already? No, because I bought the last two, and they're almost 20 grand, so it's your turn. Okay. But they are helpful. They are. How do you get down here? Because isn't it down here that you fall and get stuck? Oh, look, I did it. <laughs> Good conversation. <laughs> Can you get scurvy, like origin trail status, if you're not careful, you'll die? Um, no. Where the fuck is this chest? Is it just yeah, on the after, ship? No, it just it says take storage chest, right there. On to the lady. Oh. The lady. Ask the, the merchant lady. Got it. Proud of you. Like I bought it and then nothing happened. I was like, uh, How do I get? How do you get out of here when you get stuck in here? You have to, <laughs> you have to fall into the water. <laughs> um, no, you cannot get scurvy, but you can be poisoned by snake venom. Snakes. You can also eat raw food and then get sick. Yeah, or that drink doesn't too much and get sick. Oh God, we yeah. did that yesterday. Yeah, I got really trashed yesterday. <laughs> on everybody. That's awesome. Nice. She barfed on everything, <laughs> including me. I got, a, I got a new mug. It looks like a skull. Look at that mug. Look Ooh. at that mug. You got a nice mug. <laughs> Look at that mug. I also got. A, you're raising it too high. Oh well. <laughs> it every time it gets covered by your name. <laughs> Sad. Oh, I can see it when it's just in your hand regularly. Yeah. Oh. I also have. Ooh, I just got a little hiccupy. Now I can't walk. Great. A new tankard. But you can't really see mine all that, all that great. What if I stand by lights? It's the uh, it's the Order of Souls tankard. It's got feathers on it and stuff, but you can't really tell. It's pretty. I mean, I guess you can kind of see it here. He's pretty. I also got... What else did I get? I got... I got a new clock. One. I can show... Chelsea, I can show you the time. What? I can show you the time. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, Your beefy shoulders. Thank you. I got a new uh, compass, but it's very confusing, and I don't necessarily love it. 
points at Jack Sparrow's compass, so it never points where you like want it to. Or no, it, it just has green glass over it, but it's broken and it it's not fun. I also got this shovel, but I like my other shovel better. What was it with Jack Sparrow's compass always points north? No, that's regular compasses. Yeah, Jack Sparrow's <laughs> compass points to the thing you want most. If anybody wants Pirates of the Caribbean knowledge, it's me, because I watched it every day for, like, two summers. If anybody I'm wants it, it's her. We're. <clears throat> I can do the entire first movie if we sit right here, and you don't want to hear me do it, because it'll be bad accents. All right, let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> Start from the it. beginning. Fade in. Uh, what do we got? What's movie. our scene? Fades in, lots of fog. It's a British ship, might be the Dauntless, I don't remember. But then there's little Elizabeth sitting the pirates, singing the Pirates of the Caribbean song from the ride at Disney World. <laughs> That's where she learned it in yep. the movie. That's <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then there's Gibbs before he's a pirate, telling her to not do that. Oh, that's right. They all used to hate pirates. Yeah, and then he becomes a pirate. Yeah. Does dirty pirates. Damn dirty demon. Alright, are we going to a fortress? What are we doing? I keep trying to show you my compass and you keep running away from me. <laughs> okay, I didn't know you were trying to show me anything. <laughs> Do you like it? Nancy, I see it now. It's very pretty. Do you like it? It's got the key in the middle. Sure does. And it's got a, a keyhole on the side of it. I approve. Okay. I'm gonna clap for you. I'm gonna clap. <laughs> Let me clap. Why do you look so maniacal? What the fuck? I'm evil. You, I mean, <laughs> anybody who's watching the stream can see you look like you're getting ready to kill <laughs> me. <laughs> it's the know. dark. It's the dark uh, stuff under her eyes. <laughs> I think I'm it's shotgun. how how upturned the corners of her mouth get with the black lipstick, just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. No, I want to leave. Where are we going? Away from you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn. Uh, the facial emotions on emotes. They're very scary. Well, and they're all different depending on what your... Um, the one earlier, <laughs> she's holding up that cup. It depends on the character model too. It'll it'll change what those look like, cause like my character model doesn't look nearly as janky when holding up the tankard, but there are some that look really fucking silly. You also just kinda... have giant man shoulders. <laughs> I do. I'm buff as but hell. But with sick ass tattoos. I'm buff as hell. <laughs> that too. I'm buff as hell, and I like it that way. What are we doing? Are we going to a fortress? <clears throat> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> the Fortress of Solitude. That's the one. What the hell was it that they couldn't remember what that was called? What? what the fuck? Uh, it was somebody on YouTube. Was it Rhett and Link? Somebody couldn't remember the fort. It might have been Rhett. He couldn't remember what the Fortress of Solitude was called. He called it something else that wasn't that like the I don't know it was like the cave of loneliness or something <laughs> <laughs> and Link was like it's the fortress of solitude man what <laughs> I could I could hear him saying it like that too <laughs> the fortress yeah. of solitude man uh, the cave yeah, of loneliness yeah don't hit any icebergs I'll try <laughs> go down like Rose and Jack yeah except uh, Jennifer would probably let Chelsea get on the the door that's big enough for the both of them. <laughs> I would. Would you give me the door? I probably would. I'd probably be the one to just hang out in the water and freeze to death like an idiot. For yeah, the that honor. Was very, that was <laughs> a very could, weird ending. <laughs> you could go find your own, like, piece of shipwreck. I'm sure there was plenty. I'm <laughs> sure, but, uh... There's no room. It's like a king-sized mattress. <laughs> I would just like to point out that laying on the door holding up the compass. <laughs> just look at my <laughs> compass. 
Look at him. Stop <laughs> running away from me. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to point out that Nala came in here. She hasn't been in here for the last, like, hour or so. Maybe two. Um, and just came in here and immediately just plopped on the floor right in front of the door, but on her side, like, she's been shot. <laughs> like, okay. I thought, I thought you were going to say she came in and barfed. Oh, well, also very... Because she would do that. <laughs> yeah, also got her written all over it. Remember that time when we were in Denton and she walked up to either you or me on the couch me. with the blanket on and mm -hmm. just puked in your lap? Yep. <laughs> I sure do remember that. She just came up just to puke on you and then she walked away. What is happening? On top with... of the the blanket too. Do the thing. Okay. I don't know what yeah, is we... happening with my stream. This is not a great parking spot. Well, my game was also being incredibly clippy and it's being like ultra laggy. You know what we forgot to do? Raise an emissary flag. Oh, god damn it. We can go do that. I don't care. I'm gonna leave. Okay, well, I just jumped off the boat, so give me a second. You got it. Um, my I'm getting shot at. My, uh... I'm still trying to get myself to not be so fucking laggy. Like, me trying to steer, the, the wheel is being, like, incredibly stiff and jittery. I kind of see it on your stream. Yeah, it's not, it's not good. <laughs> I was trying to fix that. We'll be back. BRB phantoms. Relax, guys. Relax. Ugh. But yeah, Nala had. Uh... <laughs> We were sitting on the couch, and I had a blanket across my lap, and she just, like, she's tall enough to just, like, walk up to the couch and be in your lap, pretty much, with her head. And she did that. Just walked right up, and no, like, retching, no anything. She just, like, bleh, and barfed in my lap, and I was like, oh, <laughs> thank you That's for that. Wonderful. <laughs> awesome. Love that for me. Have a gift. Yeah, she, like, didn't look any kind of way. She didn't look bothered. She didn't look sick. She didn't look upset. She just kind of, like, walked up and was just like, what? And then was like, all right, bye. It's like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And then I didn't want to go to the washing machine, so I just soaked the thing in the tub and did it old school style. <laughs> It means she loves you. It means she has a regurgitation issue, I came to find out. Because <laughs> she still does that. She'll just, like, drink some water, and then... Sometimes she's fine. Sometimes she'll just be walking around, and then just kind of, like, bleh! And then spit up a little puddle of water on the floor. And then just kind of look at it like, oh. Hmm. <laughs> and then leave. I'm like, alright. That's fine. It's usually just goopy, though, which is gross. Like, it's just mixed with a bunch of saliva, so it becomes very, like, mucusy, almost. And it's warm. Yeah, Ew. of course it's warm. It's been sitting in her throat. <laughs> just waiting to be blipped into your lap. Blip. Gross. That's not gross. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> gross. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> Do you like me in your ear? I loved it. It was hot. Get in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if 
Well, firstly, I'm going to turn all of my heater off because I am warm and it's probably not helping my computer. Um, but uh, I wonder if it's going to make me turn down my shit, my settings. Itchy elbow. There's two gold people. I love the Christmas music. <laughs> what is it telling you guys for viewers? Mine's not telling me a damn thing anymore. Oh, it's telling me four. Five. Oh. <laughs> well, who knows then, I guess. Oh, that's it keeps switching from five to four. I don't know. If, okay. I don't know how often it refreshes. Oh, fuck if I know. Man, just walking out of there did not like that. Yeah. Can you imagine just sitting at Why 14... was that so in my ear? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can you imagine just sitting at four? Sorry. <laughs> oh, what, what are you saying unto me? Can you imagine sitting at 14.8 thousand viewers playing Street Fighter? <laughs> That'd be cool. That's a lot of people watching you. Could you imagine sitting at like 8 point whatever thousand people just with your tits out? I mean, <laughs> that's the way to get the people watching. <laughs> just it's just cheap that's all yeah and i guess that i get i think that's really what gets me about it is it's just cheap and it upsets me it's cheap and it's easy and it's just pretty much anyone can do it yeah and it just it's upsetting <laughs> like i can't even really say it's a slight at her because she's fucking, just doing whatever She's exploiting the loophole. Right, and it just... I guess because it's cheap and easy. I'm like, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're cheating. <laughs> the obvious comeback to that would be... You could do it too. <laughs> yeah, I know. But yeah. I just... I can't. <laughs> I can, but I won't. Because I just refuse. <laughs> Well then it's my what the fuck is it the the justice injustice sensitivity or whatever the fuck I just sure. can't can't bring myself to do it because it feels cheap and easy bless you Nala life's hard enough sometimes you just gotta take the, the take easy the, street yeah take the easy way out when it's given to you you know I Fuck your principles. <laughs> I, I had always... I don't want to say always, but... Uh, I remember... You know, thinking about... Not necessarily personally doing porn or anything like that. But I remember seeing that interview that Mia Khalifa did after she left porn and was like... Yeah, I did it because I was in a really terrible place in my life, and now that gets to haunt me for the rest of forever now that I'm not in that terrible place. So if you're ever thinking about it when you're at a low in your life, probably think about something else. And I was like, you know? <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh. I mean, I would say if you're getting into it because you're in a bad place, then yeah, you probably shouldn't do it. But if you, like, want to do it and you're cool with doing it, then by all means. <laughs> I think it's one of those things where it's... I have a thing to give you. What? I have a thing to give you. <clears throat> what is it? It's a skull. Yeah, right, we'll put it with that one. I can hear the people. Um, There's nothing in there. No, there never is. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, um, here we go. Yeah, I feel like... The reason that I would be doing it was because it would be easy money, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. 
but then yeah, it would follow you for the rest of your life. And I'm like, fuck. Hmm, yeah, I wonder um, what's smoking in this. <laughs> I've also heard um, that some people regret it because uh, it can mess up getting jobs if right. people find out about it. Well, that and just... it's super easy to find out if you just like do a search, but then you would, I mean, of course, to avoid that, you could just use a fake name, which a lot of people do. Uh, but I mean, you, you know, that only gets you so far. That just happened to a wrestler. Um, she had an OnlyFans, and suddenly WWE was like, uh, no, and then fired her. Personally, I think that it shouldn't make a difference, you know? Like, I would still hire somebody. Uh, but, you know, I think that's a vision of the future if we ever get there. To the future. People will still, people will still hate on you for that stuff. I mean, for me, I'm like, who cares? <laughs> Yeah. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a teacher. I'm not trying to work with kids or anything. Who cares? <laughs> I mean, one could a... also say in that instance, like... No, I died. Uh-oh. Like, why ain't nobody watching what their fucking kids are doing? Well, yeah, exactly. And then I'm thinking, if, if this is a problem, like, if, that this is out there, then, you know, what's the big deal? Like, my, my thing is, like, if someone's gonna find that, or if they're looking for that, then they wanna find that. So, like, what's yeah. the problem? You know what I mean? It's not like people are just stumbling on it and, like, right. are upset by it. You're looking for the purpose of finding. You're not looking... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just happened like upon it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, you're only gonna find it if you're looking for it. And if you're looking for it, then you want to see it. So it's like... <laughs> well, if you're looking for it Who cares? in that regard, then already you're trying to find something on me. So... Yes. But also, I would have to figure a lot of people probably wouldn't do that if you would pay teachers more. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. <laughs> well, there was a... There was a... I read an article about a teacher who got busted uh, for having an OnlyFans... Uh, and it was like she only had the OnlyFans because they needed extra money, her and her husband. Mm -hmm. And so she made the OnlyFans um, under a completely different name and all that. But I guess the students found it. And so she resigned or got fired or whatever, you know, how that process goes. Mm -hmm. um, hey, you and I was just bitch. like, I was just like, I don't really see like. It's not her fault that these kids are searching for this stuff, you know what I mean? Like Yeah. Again. I don't think I don't think why, she should get in trouble for that. Why ain't nobody watching what their kids are doing? Exactly. And I mean, to a certain degree you can't. I mean, when we were kids, I mean, we were watching shit we weren't supposed to. Uh so I get it, but it's just like you know, why why does it matter what I do outside of school? <laughs> like under a different name. Oh right, but platform. then even in that res in that regard, uh, okay, how did you find this child? Were you out looking for it? Okay, so that's your fucking problem. That's not her problem. Exactly, exactly. But, but you the can't use that against her care. now, <laughs> because you no, went I out agree, and looked for right. it. I know it's stupid, uh, and I don't think that the kids tried to get her in trouble, but it you know spreads, and then the administration finds out. And they're the ones who have to do something about it. But to me, I'm thinking, why do you have to do something about it? <laughs> because the parents would probably get mad. Yeah, that's what it is. It's all the the kids who knew about it, their parents find out, and then the parents are like, Yeah. You're not going to do anything about that? Don't be mad because she's know. hotter than it's you. It's touchy. I don't know. It's touchy. I think another issue with it, and and... This is like, besides. Wait, what Mark I says say. we're off to bed. We'll catch you next week if you stream. If not, have a Mark, Merry huh? Christmas. Sorry. Well, he's <laughs> talked about Mark. Um, next week, if you stream, if not, have a Merry Christmas, all three of you. 
And the same to Mark if you see him. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks. Same I to you. should hopefully stream next Jackbox. Week. Yeah, I, sh I should hope so. I can die in the murder thing, the mystery game thing. Yeah. Because I always die first. Yeah. Yeah. Then hopefully. I'm really, good at, I'm really good at trivia, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sometimes. I'm good at the D&D &D questions. Trivia, trivia is... I don't think anyone's truly good at trivia because they could literally ask you anything. When are you going to Disneyland? Vitrioku? Because I will have my fingers crossed that you get a lightsaber. Oh man, yeah, I want one of those too, so bad. Leaving Sunday. I hope you get one too. Yes. You have to let yeah, us know the lightsaber because I want one so bad. Yeah. Hell yeah. We're Me pulling too. for you. <laughs> we're all yeah, we're all pulling for you to get a lightsaber. <laughs> I've been in the uh I've been there when everyone else was getting a lightsaber because I didn't want one because I don't care. Um I also didn't have I the money. Do. But I was in there and that was very, very fun. Even as a, a non <laughs> Star Wars. I know. <laughs> Thea of Sieves! Here it be. <laughs> no, that's Here cool. Did you watch the Game Grumps where they went to Disneyland? No. They, they did the lightsaber thing, and I guess you can, like... I guess you can buy kyber crystals, mm -hmm. and, like, there's, there's, like, rare black ones. Mm. Yeah. Um, and so I think it was Matt or somebody bought Aaron five of those kyber crystals and I guess they're expensive. I was gonna say that shit ain't cheap. I wish I had money like that. <laughs> yeah. And he didn't get a black one. <laughs> oh bummer. They were they were all red. I think they're either red or black. No, they have a bunch of different ones because that's how you change the color of it. No, yeah. I know, but I I think the ones that he was doing was like a mystery one. I don't know, because ah. they were all red. Which nice. seems more unlikely than not finding a black one. Or than finding a black Going one. Four I mean. days, Monday through Thursday. That's so fun. Yeah, fingers that crossed. Fun. Jealous. Those are good days to go, too. Yeah. The, it, the last time I was at Disney World was 2015, and we went, like, right after the 4th of July, and that was when everybody else decided to go. It was awful. Mm. Yeah. I didn't it upsets me how many different versions of these parks there are because, like the, the um, Nintendo World is at Universal Studios Hollywood, mm -hmm. but the actual Universal Studios is in Florida. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I want to go to the Nintendo World, but the other park is so much better in every other aspect. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, as a nerd, I want to go to the Star Wars park and the Avengers Campus, but one's at Disneyland and one's at Disney World. But I think they yes, have part yeah. of the Star Wars... I don't know if they have any of the Star Wars stuff at Disneyland. They may. I haven't been to Disneyland since I was, like, two. So. From what I understand, they Florida's have... Florida's closer they, than Indiana. They do. They do have yeah, it they at Disneyland. both. The Star Wars thing. I don't think it's like as good, obviously, but yeah. they have like they have like the rides and stuff. Um, yeah, we went literally right before COVID closed everything down. I remember you saying that. Fun yeah. fact: I've never ridden Pirates of the Caribbean after they put Jack Sparrow in it because it was closed every time we went. Oh, it's kind and of an underwhelming ride. I know, but so. like, listen. As she needs a, it. <laughs> I, yeah, to you it's underwhelming. To me, it's a big part of me. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm I'm all about it. I love that ride, but it's just sort of yeah. There's it's not a whole like lot a, to a cruise. It, no, yeah, no, like my I like whoa, I like the roller coasters. I mean, that's my favorite thing. Or like Tower of Terror and oh, the thrill not. rides. Oh, Tower not. of Terror is terrifying. I'm very I love Tower of Terror. You can't do Tower of Terror? I can't do much of anything without just like... <laughs> I, I, I've become that way and it's upsetting to me because I used to love roller coasters, but now I can only really ride like two before I'm like, so, nope, my brain doesn't want to. Doesn't wanna. So I can't do anything that does a lot of jostling because I've always had a very 
I don't want to say a weak stomach, but a very sensitive stomach to jostling. So, like, mm-hmm. even as a kid, I couldn't ever do swings because it makes me oh. super nauseous. Um, but a lot of me and roller coasters was because I've always been very small and I slide out of those seats the whole time. Uh, and it's very scary. <laughs> As someone who's never been small. <laughs> Not that I'm large. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's it's very, very scary. I remember going to the Houston Rodeo and it was one of those rides. I don't even know how the fuck to describe it. There's a row of seats and it's just one row of like 10 to 12 seats and you have the thing that comes over your head and locks you in Mm -hmm. um and you're on like this big arm uh that picks up the whole row and then kind of like spins it upside down and blah 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 and then will like hold you upside down it's like shooting water and fire at you for whatever reason and spins you and blah 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 and then you come back down Mm -hmm. um i remember being on that and they're holding us upside down, and I was actively sliding out of the seat. So I was, like, cool. fucking white-knuckling the fuck out of the thing over my head, praying that they were going to flip us over at some point, because I was a sneeze away from falling out of this thing as it's shooting fire at me. So oh, that was cool. That's, that's <laughs> awesome. There's a theme park about an hour and a half from where I live. It's in Ohio it's owned by cedar point and there's a roller coaster called i think it's diamondback so it looks like a snake right Mm. and it has like the seats you sit upright almost like a car seat and then this just thing comes down over your lap Mm -hmm. and that's what holds you in well my brother is like a hundred pounds and he's like 25 but he's just rail thin he just always has been Mm -hmm. and it didn't come all the way down yeah story of my life (laughs) he's like he's like i'm gonna fall out of this and he was like i'll be okay (laughs) (laughs) more power to you he likes the roller coasters so he's like i'll just hold on it'll be fine Mm -mm. no that's always the same way too ballsy with roller coasters like the seat doesn't work and they're like nah it's fine i'll be okay and i'm like really like you could die you know that right (laughs) (laughs) yeah i uh one of my exes almost did fall out of that roller coaster, and now I kind of wish he did. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I feel that. But yeah, that's me every time. The bar never comes down all the way uh, for me to <laughs> feel safe in it. <laughs> well, this is the same. This is the same theme park that had the only wooden roller coaster that had a loop in it called the Son of the Beast. Mm. And it killed, like, three people before they decided that maybe they should take the loop out of it. Yeah, it sounds about right. Yeah, that's another thing I hear all the fucking time where people will be on these rides. I think somebody died at fucking Disney World right after we were there. Um, Okay, but most people stand up on things they're not supposed to. Oh, also that. But, yeah, like, this little girl or something... uh, got decapitated on a ride or some shit and i'm like you know again (laughs) no and it's it's like it's because the parents like sneak their kids on rides yeah like there's weight restrictions and height restrictions on things for reasons yeah i've actually seen parents do that where like at the front of the line they have their kids stand there and they're too short so they like they like cheat for them they like pick them up or whatever like and i'm like Dude, that's not the they point put, or they put like wedges in their shoes so they look yeah. like taller i'm like that's not the point like your no. kid's gonna die exactly <laughs> what Dummy. The yeah and they're like nah it's cool I-, I saw somebody sneak a a baby a like a newborn baby onto a ride and they just held them the whole time i was Ooh, like are you good. okay fucking... you can take you like you can take a baby on small world or like pirates of the caribbean yeah. Well, this ride, this wasn't, like, a big ride. Uh, it was a water ride, but it had, like, big drops and stuff. Yeah, and no, it also had a that. fucking height thing at the front. And they just, like, they. I watched them sneak the baby past all of the ride operators. Why? I was like, what are you doing? When it's I like, have been, like, um... Let me just go ahead and call CPS right quick, because clearly yeah. you're doing all sorts of bullshit, and you don't deserve to have that child. Exactly. I was like, what the hell? 
I just, I don't have patience for people, is my <laughs> entire life story. I don't have patience for shitty teachers. <laughs> I don't have patience for fucking anybody. Everybody makes me so incredibly angry. <laughs> yeah. I have to work a high school bowling meet tomorrow at good. 10 a.m. Oh. So I get to Sounds deal with fun. it. No, it's t sounds it's <laughs> terrible. As somebody who was on the high school bowling team. Oh, were you? That's fun. <laughs> sure was. I got my letter jacket that way, and everybody thought I was wearing somebody else's because they didn't think I played sports. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I wish we had a bowling team. I was really good. That's fun. Now I haven't bowled in years, so I probably suck. Man, I love bowling. I wish that I was, like, actually good at it. Like, I wish I could, like, manipulate the oil on the track and all that crazy shit. Got a problem. Because that's cool. On the track. That's what I meant. <laughs> I didn't track. even notice you said the track. I live, like, 70% of my life in a bowling alley, so... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I I don't know why I called it that. No, you're fine. It's okay. I'm tickled uh, that you I've did. I've had worse things that people I mean, have said. I mean, I, I at least know that there's oil on the lanes. Yes, I'm glad you do, because most people don't, and then they, you like, run out on the lane. That's my favorite. Oh, Eat shit. You deserve it. <laughs> and then... Like, we have to, like, calmly tell them to not do that. And then they're like, well, why not? And go like, for it. There's oil, there's oil out there. You're going to fall. No, no, no. Oh, go for it. That. Learn by example. <laughs> yeah, and you also, like, ruin the lane when yeah. you do that. Because now the oil is everywhere. It's all yeah. messed up. God. Yeah, and those lane machines are stupid expensive. Yep. I'm sure. There was... There has been many a time in all of the time that I used to bowl, where um, I would just, like, step a little too far when I'm trying to throw the ball. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, and then my leg goes out from under me, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> I yeah, am airborne. Line. Yep. Yeah, everybody's done that. <laughs> I've done that. I've also lofted a ball really high during, Ooh. like, a sectional meet. Oh, no, yeah. I think it was semi-state. So that was real fun, because that's... You know, <laughs> when you shouldn't leagues. do that? <laughs> yeah. I was like, why did I do that? I was just going to say, I, I hate when you see people doing that in bowling alleys, like... Launching it into the air. what they're doing. Because well, you're, like, you're ruining the wood. You're literally destroying the lane. Well, because they don't fucking care. They think it's funny. Well, the well, problem was, my issue was, I was, had been bowling, like, nine games, so my thumb was swollen. Ow. Uh. And so it wasn't, like, the thumb hole in the bowling ball was no longer, like, big enough for my swollen bowling thumb. <laughs> so they had to, like, sandpaper it down and everything. And then <laughs> my thumb went back down, and then I had to fill it with tape, because then I kept dropping the ball. So it's just stupid. <laughs> I know my both my parents had their own balls. I, had like I would like to get one. one. Yeah, my mom, they had the, obviously their own ball, but then the bag that the ball goes in. Um, and my mom always had a glove slash wrist brace situation. <laughs> I used to have one of those until I stopped bi like bending my wrist. Yeah, I just I tra trained myself not to do that. I guess she However, just said However, my coach kept it. telling me I couldn't... I kept dropping my shoulder, whatever that means. Hmm. I see. But whatever. He just looked at me and, like, slumped to one side, and then I knew I would be fucked up. <laughs> Dang, as, I'm, were... as I'm walking back <laughs> that after makes I me throw the ball. <laughs> I'm like, that, thanks. That's like when I used to... When people used to tell me in, like, drumline, like, if you're leaning one way... That's mm -hmm. how they would do it. Yeah. Just a little shoulder. Yeah, and I was like, thanks, Frank. You got it. I'm like, but now I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. You do lean when you play, and it cracks me up. I do? Yeah. yeah. That's what I was looking for, was that one right here. Where is the storage crate? I already filled it up. Uh, there's a lot of shit still. Really? Did yes. I miss stuff? A lot. Well, it's... <laughs> It's right here. Yep. 
Um, but uh, yeah, like I have that video of you still on my Instagram when I was following you around mm -hmm. for however long that was. I think it was like three days, whatever. Um, and you can see in the video, <laughs> I think, what arm is it? I'm trying to think now. I think it's your left arm because that's your uh, traditional grip arm. Um, that one is a whole lot more dropped. <laughs> hey, uh, we still on drums. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what I, I dropped my shoulder and I still managed to make it to like date. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't do things. <laughs> oh, well, Jesus, Jesus, game. I had done things, but I've never been a part of anything that's ever been any good. <laughs> My God. Derek would tell me all the time that I might have actually become something if I didn't go to a high school that was garbage. Your well, high school was like well, a let's prison. Not, let's we'll not frame it like that. Because <laughs> I definitely didn't say it like that. You might have been somebody had you gone to a better school. But I mean, since you didn't, you're nobody. I mean... <laughs> is it wrong? No, I just think you would have had a better chance at uh, like more music experiences if you had gone to a school that cared because you have like the desire and I know you had the work ethic uh, to practice and shit so had people given you the correct teachings and the things that would help you get better then you would have definitely been in any of those groups that you wanted to be in I wanted to be in groups so bad I wasn't in the groups though <laughs> you should have auditioned for the um, the Poland drumline <laughs> so I could have somehow made it and then just been an embarrassment you could have been you could have been on a quad line with Colin oh, John God. Jeff Carmona <laughs> That would have been Ooh. absolutely horrendous. <laughs> I would have fudged the entire fucking thing. That would have made us all sound like hot dicks. Hey, here's a secret. We sounded like hot dicks anyway. Yeah, but it would have been worse, I guarantee it. <laughs> it would have been hotter dicks. <laughs> yeah, the dicks would have been flaming. <laughs> a new white card for Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the... Isn't that what that Rhett and Link game is. Isn't it just Cards Against Humanity? I don't know. I didn't really look into it very much. I was just like, wow, another thing that I don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> like everything else. <laughs> well, like, they came out... I Like, I like some of their stuff, but they came out with a card game, and I was like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't even look their, remotely fun. Um, their Mythical Society subscriptions are very much not worth it. <laughs> Like, I got that free one, well, not free, but the one you get with the Good Mythical Evening ticket, you mm -hmm. get, like, a month. Yeah. There's just nothing on there that I care about. It's yeah. all, like, behind-the-scenes videos and extra clips and this and that. It's, like, it's... cool stuff, but I'm like, I don't care enough. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, it's good if if you like them like that, but, yeah, certainly if you, if like, you don't like if them you're like, like that. <laughs> If you're, like, watching every single episode they put out, like, when they come out, and, like, that's, like, you're looking forward to that every day, then I could see it, but... Probably if you're writing fanfiction about them, you probably like it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely that. <laughs> uh, I'm Definitely not shitting that. on fanfic writers as one, but, like, I, I, I would, those are I would the people not. that would, would do that, you know? I'm not shitting on fanfic writers, because, you know... Hey, there's a thing. my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a thing over here. I don't know where you are. Hang on. Find me. I find you. Find me. There's a thing. Okay. You're up another level. Find me. There's a thing. Oh no, you're just right here. My okay. phone says I'm down to two viewers. 
That's oh. what mine says. So I might just end the stream. It's probably me, because I'm still viewing. Yeah, it's probably you and Derek. <laughs> 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 and since you're literally in my ears... Um, it's weird ending a stream when there's nobody watching. <laughs> yeah. I did that. I did that on my last one. There was one person watching, but it's just like... You it, you don't really like have to sign off or anything because there's only one person or no people. So it's yeah. like, okay. I, I'm bye. done now. <laughs> Adios. I am done now. Um... Yeah, I should probably... Oh, okay. I should probably do that, though. There's another viewer. Oh, God. Just kidding? <laughs> <laughs> hey, viewer. Make your presence known. <laughs> or I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Say something, or we're out of here. <laughs> or I'm leaving. <laughs> But for real, though, I was about to get off, so I don't know if you, like, really care to be here. If you don't, then I'm just going to hop off. But if you do care, then I won't hop off. Oh, I think they left. <laughs> wow. Or I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, snap. Well, let me do that, then, so I can stop being on camera. Um, <laughs> it's been real, everybody. Uh, thanks for the sub, Crow. Appreciate that. Um, and also thanks everybody for hanging with me in my weird liminal headspace that I've been in all week. Um, it did help. So there's that. Um, and hopefully everything will be back to normal next week. And then we can be back to sorts and such. Uh, but... Yeah, my bye 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 my stream on the weekend. Bye 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 my stream on the weekend. I don't know. We'll fucking see. Um, but yeah, if not, see you guys when I see you.